Today, I'm going to be doing a review and a quick walk around of the 2019 Nissan Frontier. Uh, we can start in the back here. We, uh, we just recently bought this. It, like I said, it, it, it's a used 2019. has about 30,000 miles on it. We've taken it on uh, one trip so far just to check things out. And overall, we're uh, very happy with it. It lived up to expectations. I've done quite a bit of research before we bought this one. I compared it to the Colorado, the, um, the Ranger, and each has their, their pluses, their minuses. But the thing that leaned me toward this one was price for what you get and the styling. It stands out. To me, it stands out from the other trucks. I see a, a Colorado or a Ranger go by and they it's like they're interchangeable. I can't tell the difference. But this one does have a unique look to it. So we can just start in the in the back here. Um, it has a nice chrome bumper. It has the, the towing package with the hitch and the, the pre-wiring. It has the locking gate. And one thing this one has that some of the more expensive trucks don't have is the full liner with the, with the tie-down hooks. Some of the more expensive trucks just have the, the bed liner, but this one has it completely covered, protected. And it's, and it's locking. Slow the thieves down a little bit. Takes regular 87 octane gas, that's a plus. Here's the back. It has the electric package. All the windows are electric. My wife is 5'11". She has plenty of room, leg room, head room back here. And the, uh, let me show you the storage. You have some storage underneath the seats. Right there. And it's a 60-40 seat, so you can fold down one side or the other or both. You just pull this here. And if you want a flat surface to put your luggage, what have you, you can just fold both sides down and you have a flat surface there. It has the rear opening window. Tent it all the way around. Now the interior is kind of a throwback. In fact, Nissan could easily call this the Nissan throwback because it's definitely just a truck. You know, you have everything most people like us need. It has the electric. It's got the cruise control. It does have the hands-free for your phone calling. Um, power mirrors. It has everything we need. But looking at the dash, the steering wheel... It's like late 90s, maybe a 2000. And pop the hood. As this one is equipped, the, the sticker price on it was $28,000. The engine is a V6 4.0. Not really sure what the 4.0 is, but I know it's bigger than the 3.6 than a lot of them are. One thing it has plenty of is power. And it, it, it's a thirsty engine. It definitely likes its gas. But uh, if you want power, you got it. And uh, check out the antenna. Is that a throwback or what? It does have the chrome bumper in the back. Dresses it up a little bit. It's got the nice wheels. A little bit of uh, chrome in the front. And I am going to put uh, headlights or um, fog lights on the front because all the Nissans that are equipped like this, they come pre-wired. The wiring is already there. So all you have to buy is a kit from Nissan, it's about $250, and it's the lights, and then uh, it's just a control, the, where your blinker, 
goes. You just change that out. The dealer said anybody could do it. So, so we're extremely happy with it. I would uh, recommend it to anybody. And uh, I'm trying to think of everything. Oh, it does on the dash. I forgot to point out. Unlike a lot of newer cars these days, this one has all the gauges. It has the temperature, oil, battery, and fuel. It has the four gauges. It has a dual glove compartment. They're small, but there are two of them. An automatic and I think that's the highlights Let me just, uh, fire it up so you can hear the, uh, the 4.0 Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and tell your friends.